So what is going on everybody? Fernando Silva here with another video. And in this video, I wanna talk about an iPad accessory that I've been using for a few weeks now called the Mag Float. I believe that's how it's called, the Mag Float, uh, depending on what those two dots mean over the O. But this is one of my new favorite iPad accessories that has come out over the last few weeks and it's been a game changer for a couple reasons, right? I'm gonna talk about first the product itself, the design, the build quality, how it works, how it functions, but then I'm gonna talk about how it works in my current desk setup with Universal Control. So without further ado, Let's get it going. So the product we're talking about today is the Mag Float or Mag Float. Again, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but you guys know exactly what I mean. So this product is an iPad stand. So they have versions for the 12.9 inch and then also the 11 inch iPad Pro and the 10.9 inch iPad Air, both the four and the five models. I have the 12.9 variant because you guys know that I'm in the 12.9 game and that's my iPad of choice at all times. But this stand is actually awesome. From a build quality standpoint, it's made out of aluminum. It fits that Apple aesthetic beautifully. It kind of gives it like an XDR stand look. So it kind of looks like so it kind of looks like your iPad is an XDR display sitting on top of this stand. So it's a very, very pretty look and aesthetically, this is very, very pleasing. So in the box itself, you get three main things. You get the actual base, you get the stand, and then you get the magnetic plate to attach your iPad to. There's like four screws and a little Allen wrench you gotta put together. So it does come out kind of taken apart. A little assembly required, but not that big of a deal. It took me about 30 seconds to put it all together. And then on top of that, it does bring a nice three meter USB-C cable, but one end of that USB-C cable is actually made to fit with the mag flot. So it has kind of like a, like a 180 degree look to it. So I'll show you guys some B-roll of what exactly it looks like but for the situation I'm using it for, it actually works perfectly. So having that kind of custom cable to fit this aesthetic and fit this form factor is beautiful to have included in the box. So now let's talk about what the stand can actually do from a stand standpoint, actually, you know, excuse the pun. But again, it is made with magnets. So there's no latch, there's no like case they have to put on the iPad itself. It's all built with the magnets built into the iPad in mind. So it's just a metal plate that you slap onto the iPad itself. You slap your iPad onto the plate and then the plate covers up about two thirds of the rear of the iPad. It does have the square cutout. So it will work with any iPad Pro 2018 and higher. Just know that it is built for the square cutout. So if you have a 2018 iPad Pro with a single camera cutout, it'll still fit fine and work correctly. It just won't sit flush because it, there is that square cutout. And then from a viewing angle perspective, you get pretty much infinite angles. So when it comes to when it's facing you, you get 270 degrees of rotation. So you can go from basically portrait, to then horizontal, then back to portrait mode on the other way. It doesn't go all the way around 360, but it does go 270. So you can sit it in portrait mode or in landscape mode with no problem whatsoever. And then also it flips on its X axis. So if you have somebody maybe in front of you that you want to show content with, so let's say you're you know, sharing a YouTube video or sharing a PowerPoint presentation, and then you wanna flip the actual screen to somebody in front of you, you can also do that. So, so from that standpoint, it actually does rotate 360 degrees, so you can rotate it fully across to the other side, which is a nice little addition to have, honestly. So that is the MagFlot stand. It's a very sturdy and well-built stand made for the iPad Pro, built with magnets. It's very easy to take off, very easy to put back on. You never have to worry about the magnets getting loose or the magnets not being strong enough to hold the iPad, because I haven't had any issues with it at all. So overall, I think you're gonna be very pleased with the build quality of this stand if you're looking for something very aesthetically pleasing for the iPad Pro. And then also it's got a little hole in the back so you can pass through whatever cables or cores or USB-C dongles that you have for your iPad Pro. So they've kind of thought of everything when it comes to this for an iPad Pro stand to have it on your desk. So now let's talk about how I have it currently set up in my desk setup. So you can see, I'm gonna put some B-roll over of my desk setup. I have my M1 MacBook Air sitting in front of me and the main reason I still have it open and not in clamshell mode right now is because I don't have an external webcam, so I need to use the actual webcam built into the M1 MacBook Air when I'm doing video calls on Google or you know Zoom calls or whatever the case may be. So that's why I keep it open, just for convenience sake. So then over that, I have my BenQ monitor, which is connected via just a USB-C cable. So it's a single cable that charges the MacBook Air and passes audio and video into the BenQ monitor. But then what I did is I grabbed that MagFlot stand and I put it on top of my little shelf that I had from Grove made, put the iPad on there, turned on universal control, and then set up my iPad to have universal control on the right side of the BenQ monitor. So what I thought to myself was, hey, I'll use the iPad whenever I need to edit video with LumaFusion, I can still use my MacBook Air peripherals in order to get that done, so I don't need to have my Magic Keyboard attached to it at all times, which is something that, again, it's kind of nice to have. It's a little bit more freeing of a desk setup, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this way. Right now it works. It's a little bit farther from a distance standpoint that I would want it to be. I want it to be a little bit closer. I like being very intimate with my iPad Pro when I'm working on it. But overall, I just think it's very cool that you can do this, right? I'm still running iPadOS on the iPad. I'm still running macOS on the Mac computer, but I'm able to use the same peripherals. I'm able to use my MacBook Air keyboard, trackpad, and then my Logitech mouse, my external mouse, to navigate all of these different operating systems, like all under one roof. It's kind of an amazing feature if you really sit down and think about it. They're two different operating systems 
talking to each other with the same Bluetooth peripherals. So I don't know, Apple's got some freaking magic and some juju back there doing some crazy stuff. I love the function. I love how it's been working. There's been zero bugs so far since the public release. During the beta releases, there were some bugs, but so far, no issues with universal control. But leave a comment down below if you guys think I should have my MacBook Air as my home base, or if I should grab my iPad Pro with my magic keyboard and put it in front of me and use that as my home base and then clamshell the laptop. And then maybe add a secondary like external monitor for the MacBook Air. But let me know in the comments below. I'm always curious, but that is how I'm using the iPad Pro with universal control on the MagFlot stand. And honestly, it just looks very appealing and very pleasing to sit down at your desk and work in this setup. But that is how I use my MagFlot with the iPad Pro and universal control on this desk setup. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, everybody. Like you saw, the Mac Float is actually a wonderful accessory. From a build quality standpoint, it's amazing. You guys saw that it does take a little bit of assembly to get done, but overall, it's very easy to put together. The magnets are super strong. It's very versatile how you can use it as a stand. And then on top of that, like I said, it just fits right now in the way that I'm using universal control. I'm not totally set in stone in how I'm using universal control currently. Sometimes I switch between having the iPad kind of off to the side like this, or sometimes I bring the iPad in front of me and use that as my command center. But who knows, maybe I'll do a live stream and you guys can help me decide what would be the best universal control setup. And then after that, we'll make a video about you know my final universal control setup because universal control, now that it's out for everybody to play with, has been absolutely amazing. But that was the MagFlot. If you guys do wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down in the description below. I definitely recommend checking it out at least because again, from a build quality standpoint alone, and those magnets are extremely strong, so you don't have to worry about that thing falling off at any point. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys did make it to the end, leave a little dolphin right here. And if you guys wanna see some more stuff on iPadOS 15.4 and all the new features that released, click on this video right here because you might enjoy watching this one and learning a couple things. But I'm out of here. Peace.